This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. We are on a job today in High Point. So let me show you what's going on here. So we've got this wonderful pool here. And what they are doing is they are resurfacing the deck. Let's see if we can get out in the sunlight here. So there's actually a pool company who's doing this resurfacing work. And you, you notice they've already done all this. What's going on over here, and they haven't done this here. So what's going on here is this corner right here is a low point. And so I'm gonna show you an image, a satellite image here where this is all nothing but mud right here. And so the pool resurfacing company said that they had to fix this standing water problem because they couldn't warranty their work if there was gonna be standing water here. So take a look at what's going on. Somebody put this French drain type of system in here with this corrugated pipe. It's all covered in mud and everything else. And we couldn't figure out where it went. So you've always got to set, you've always got to take the water somewhere. You've got to have water pouring out somewhere. Otherwise, you're just, I mean, it's not doing anything. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put a length of perforated pipe with some gravel to there, a length here. And we're going to drop in a sump basin right here because we're uphill on all four sides over here. And so we're going to pump our water out to the curb right there. So that's what we're working on today. This is a satellite image from Google. And you can see right up in here where there is a lot of mud standing right here where the standing water sits. So unfortunately, it's in the shadow of this tree right here. But you can kind of see it there. This is what the site looked like on the day when I did the quote. I met up with the vice president and the director of repairs and renovations for the pool maintenance company responsible for taking care of this pool. And it had rained a little bit and there's just a bunch of standing water in here and the, his guys had dug this up a little bit to try to figure out what was going on. And it's just uphill in all directions. So there's nowhere for this water to get out and get away. So that's why we're installing our French drain and our sump pump. We're making pretty good progress on our trench here. And I wanted to show you, we, we do have some clay right there. 
but we have a ton of organic matter here. So we're gonna line this with some fabric before we put our gravel in. One of the reasons we're gonna do that is we're only doing about 12 inches here. I usually like to use about a foot of gravel as my filter, but since we don't have that here, we're gonna use some fabric. So This is the pipe that they had in here. And I just wanted to show you, look at how full that is. It's just completely full of crap. Completely clogged with mud. Yep. Oh, I didn't get all the way through it, hang on. All right. Look at that. Completely clogged. The reason that's clogged is because it went uphill, like it went up and then back down, and the sediment just sat in there. So we're going to replace this with a solid pipe. We just pulled that corrugated pipe out. So here's another shot of that corrugated pipe, and that's why it wasn't working. So how are we going to prevent this from happening again? We are going to use a solid pipe that is smooth on the inside instead of having all these little ridges. We're going to line the whole thing with gravel. And so you don't just dig out, the, dig the dirt and then put the dirt back in. You want to put gravel in. The gravel is going to let the water flow freely through it. Once we get that fabric stabilized, you can just dump it in there. Tickled what you're doing. Yep. All right, we're getting our pipe, our perforated pipe laid in. We get a little bit of gravel underneath it. The holes face downward. And then we're gonna core into our basin here. So yeah, let's get it going. Looks good. Done, it's okay. Back it up. Okay. Good, Sean? Yep. All right, that should be a pretty tight fit. Nice. Nice.
Fernando, <laughs> nice. Yep. <laughs> All right, look at that core. That's a beauty right there. If you remember the video when I bought this dump trailer, you'll recall that one of the main reasons I bought it was to be able to load with the concrete buggy. So having that concrete buggy to be filled with stuff, you've got to be able to unload it as well. And so I built these really gnarly, huge ramps. And the problem though is the concrete buggy can only fill this trailer up so much. And so it puts all the weight in the very front of it. So before I put the excavator away, I've got to get in here and get this dirt pulled back to try to even out this load a little bit and take some of the weight off the front of that trailer and off the back of the truck. So that's what I'm doing here. Around the back over here, this decking has already got a little swale in it right here and so we need to dig this out a little bit here and make it into a proper channel and for drainage here so we're going to dig out a couple scoops here fill it up with riprap Okay, we ran into a huge bunch of roots right here that we weren't able to get out. So we left those. Those will hold the soil in really well, so we weren't too terribly worried about it. And we got this pretty much into a little riprap channel. And that's just gonna armor everything and let it flow a little bit better. We, we dug it down quite a bit so that the water will actually fall off and into the channel and out. Whereas before it was pretty much damming up against the roots and the the much higher ground so it's looking pretty good and I think we're about finished for the day so this was an interesting job for sure and I'll talk more about it all right we're finished with this job so we got gravel across there we had a had to stop our pipe right there because of that other drainage pipe that four inch PVC We've got it into our sump basin and we are extending out along here. We also put in a piece of, this is the only electrical conduit the tooling contractor could find. That's inch and a half. So the electrician's gonna run his conduit in there and put a an outlet over here. So we should be in pretty good shape. The, the fact that our bank is so high here, we, we're lower, our lid is lower than the bank. But it, it's not quite as low as the deck right here. So we used a perforated basin. And I didn't want to lower this too much because then it gets buried and forgotten. So I kind of split the difference between the height of this bank here and the height of the deck. And that's what the outlet looks like. So it's tucked away back under that curb, away from problems. The last thing I have to do is dump this trailer load here.
I had the drone all set up to see this dirt dumping out of the back of the dump trailer and I forgot to hit record. I'm back out here at the pool deck where we put the sump pump in and it looks like they may have finished with the redecking but the pump just came on I'm waiting for it, and it stopped raining alright looks like it's working pretty well so it just stopped raining on me. I was running over here trying to get some rain footage. So I was wondering if there was any residual water that it was going to collect. But this has been working really well. Oh yeah, they have redone the deck. See right there when they oversprayed just a tiny bit onto the gravel. Nice. So this is that same pool company that I've done a few jobs for. So you should be seeing a couple more jobs here from this company so i'm excited to get some rain footage for you all get some videos pumping out 